Okay, so the James Webb Space Telescope, you know, the one that's been blowing our minds with these incredible images, well, it's found something that might just rewrite everything we thought we knew about the early universe. And I'm not just talking about some new galaxy or star. This could be a whole new kind of cosmic object. Let's dive in. So, what exactly did it find that was so strange? Well, picture this. JWST is peering back into the dawn of time, right? Looking at the deepest, earliest parts of the universe. And it starts seeing things. Things that, according to all our best models, just shouldn't exist yet. They were so out of place, so baffling, that astronomers started calling them universe breakers. How cool is that? And these universe breakers got a nickname, the Little Red Dots. Now, they looked exactly like they sound, tiny, super distant, and really, really red. But here's the kicker. It wasn't their color that was the problem. It was their weight, their mass. Our understanding of the early universe says there's just no way anything could have gotten that big that quickly. It's like finding a fully grown oak tree just a day after planting a seed. It just, it broke all the rules. So as you can imagine, this sent astronomers scrambling. I mean, you find something that breaks the universe, you gotta figure it out, right? The big question was, what on earth are these things? And pretty quickly, two main theories started to take shape. And let me tell you, both of these first ideas were pretty wild. The first theory was that maybe these were super compact galaxies, just churning out stars at a mind-boggling rate, we're talking about processes we've never even witnessed before. Then you have theory number two. Maybe they were galaxies powered by overmassive black holes at their center. But unlike the bright quasars we know, these would have to be totally hidden, shrouded in these enormous clouds of dust. You know, it was a real head-scratcher. As one astrophysicist, Fabio Pacucci, said, both explanations push the limits of our current understanding. And that really hits the nail on the head. Neither theory felt right. You know, both of them required scientists to bend or maybe even break their models of how galaxies are supposed to work. The mystery was definitely not solved. But then, just like in a good detective story, the investigators got a lead, a potential smoking gun. They had this idea. What if we just focus on one of these little red dots? Not just any one, but a really, really extreme one. The thinking was that maybe its exaggerated features would give up the secret. And this particular object got a great nickname, the cliff. The hope was simple, really. If you can crack the code of the most extreme case, maybe that will give you the key to unlock the mystery of all the other little red dots. And before we go on, let's just take a second to wrap our heads around the numbers here. We're talking about light from the cliff that has been traveling for almost 12 billion years to get to us. That means we're seeing this thing not as it is today, but as it was only 1.8 billion years after the Big Bang. It's, it's like looking through a cosmic time machine deep into the universe's baby pictures. So the big clue they found was hidden in the light coming from this object. In its light spectrum, there's this feature called a Balmer break. The easiest way to think about it is like a cosmic fingerprint. It's this really sharp jump in brightness that you only get when light goes through dense hydrogen gas at a very particular temperature. And this is where it gets really interesting. The cliff had a Balmer break, sure, but it was weird. It was way, way sharper than it should have been, like a much steeper cliff, hence the name, than you'd ever see from a normal galaxy full of stars. And it was also too sharp for a typical black hole that's just feeding on gas. That incredible sharpness, that was the smoking gun. It screamed that we were looking at something completely different. So with this new piece of evidence, a totally new and, frankly, revolutionary idea came into play. A new suspect entered the lineup, one that could actually explain that crazy sharp cliff in the light data. They started calling it a black hole star. Okay, so what in the world is a black hole star? I know, it sounds like something from science fiction, but the idea is this. You have a massive black hole, and it's feeding on gas so fast, just gobbling it up, that it releases a tremendous amount of energy. All that energy heats up a super dense cocoon of gas that's surrounding the black hole. And this gas cocoon gets so hot that it starts to glow, just like a star. But here's the crucial part. It's not powered like a normal star. Our sun, for example, gets its energy from nuclear fusion happening in its core. A black hole star? Nope. It's powered by accretion. That's the raw, powerful energy released by all that gas and dust falling into the black hole. So you've got two objects that look like stars, but they're running on completely different engines. So a good way to picture it is it's not really a star. 
It's more like an incredibly powerful engine, the black hole, that's wrapped up in this ultra-thick glowing blanket made of its own fuel. And here's the aha moment. It's that dense, hot blanket that perfectly explains the super-sharp Balmer Blake that the scientists saw in the cliff. It all clicks into place. I mean, this is already super exciting, right? A whole new type of object. But it gets better because this discovery might actually help us solve an even bigger cosmic puzzle. So let's look at the bigger picture here. What would it mean if these things are real? Well, it could potentially solve one of the greatest mysteries in all of cosmology. How did supermassive black holes get so, well, supermassive so early in the universe's history? It's a huge problem. But if these black hole stars are a real thing, they could be a phase where a black hole can just pack on the pounds at an incredible rate. They could be the missing link, the seeds or the toddler phase of the giant monsters that live at the heart of nearly every galaxy today. Now we have to pump the brakes just a little bit. This is still a very new idea. It's a hypothesis, a really promising one for sure, but it's not confirmed yet. We need more data. It could be that these black hole stars are just a very short, temporary phase in a black hole's life. So for now, the real identity of those little red dots is still officially a mystery. We're all basically waiting on the edge of our seats for more data from Webb. But it leaves us with this just absolutely mind-blowing question to think about. When JWST is staring at these tiny little red dots from the dawn of time, are we actually watching the birth of the universe's biggest monsters? Could we be looking right into a cosmic nursery for supermassive black holes? It's an incredible thought, and only time and a lot more data is going to give us the answer.